Evening YouTubers. So uh, what do we have here? This is not a uh, usual Nix sort of uh, video. Uh, in fact this is a uh, video on the HP Prime graphing calculator. Now it wasn't a cheap purchase but I managed to get it from Calculator King for 219 AUD. It's recently gone up to $260 AUD. Uh, just turn it over. And I don't know if I can get you to see that there, but this is actually the G8X92AA. Okay. So what I uh, what I plan to do in this uh, video is uh, do a uh, an unboxing uh, and a brief look at it. I haven't um, done much with a uh, uh, too much with the emulator. I've used the emulator before, but um, not too much with it. So this is the first time I'm actually using the the actual physical the physical one. Uh, the reason I'll just put this aside for a moment. The reason why I'm uh, doing uh, a video on this is I'm also taking a look at this book here. It's a three-unit math book from the Cambridge University Press. I'm just doing some preparation for when I uh, decide to go to university to do a computer science degree eventually, that's the plan. So um, there are some interesting bits on graphing, although you probably uh, I just almost caught a page there if I can. Uh, there's some trigonometry and that, but um, yeah, I'm going to have a look at this this book and uh, use it to do some of the simplification of formula and uh, some of the graphing. So I'm confident that this calculator here can do all and more than what I need it to do. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. You might uh, you might have noticed that there's a bit of a rig going on here. I don't have a tripod as some YouTubers probably have, so I have to, um, beggars must be choosers so to speak, and uh, sorry, beggars can't be choosers so to speak, and uh, I've just had to uh, rig up something, actually with a shoebox lid, with peak hole and uh, two small chairs. So, I'll take a bit of a, a look here, I'm not really sure as to what is the best way to enter, but uh, we'll try from here, just in fact I won't extend too far hopefully you can uh, see what I'm doing I have uh, retracted the the blade a little as I uh, am not really familiar with the layer of items inside and I don't want to break anything such as a charging cable or anything like that. So hopefully I can just kind of work around the edges. Maybe it'll take about a minute or two. Maybe it can be for your ASMR viewing pleasure. I'm not sure. I think uh, we're going to go off, off screen in a moment. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I can just uh, cut through three of the sides and just uh, get in here. So yes, yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, there's uh, a bit of a discount on this one. I was fortunate that the uh, the person uh, that I was emailing back and forth from uh, Calculator King, they understood exactly what I was on about. That there was a difference between the, I think it's the NW92 or something like that, NWA or 92, something like that. It's the first iteration of this of this uh, calculator and uh, it had some limitations like, uh, for example, the blue on the keys, it was not very bright, didn't have Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. So this one, uh, in fact, should, uh, should serve uh, those purposes. Let's see if I can just 
get down the side here. I'm getting a little bit impatient. Because obviously I don't want you guys having to watch a bunch of stuff that you don't want to watch. And uh, so I can assure you that this uh, this box is basically designed to be theft proof. Now I just need to do a little bit off off screen here. Perhaps you can see it, I'm not really sure. Yes you can, it looks like. It's very tricky to get into this. Maybe I should uh, invest in some better tools for the job. But, having done three sides, I'm close to it, in principle, I should be able to get inside, pretty much. Now, let's have a look. As you can hear. Okay, so I've managed not to puncture anything. Now I'll just, uh, here's special USB cable has this rubberized end on it. That's the computer end and this is the device end. It has some information about, about the device. It has a warranty and it has this uh, connectivity kit disc which I'm fairly confident that we don't need and will probably be out of date by the time uh, we open this little devil. So let's uh, let try and continue to, to open this. I may need to just uh, cut into it a little more. And indeed, that was required. So next, there's some other bits and bobs in here. So it looks like they've uh, internationalized the power adapters. I don't know how common these are, but this one is for Malaysia, Singapore, I believe. This one is for the United States, and this one is for Australia, where I live. And uh, here is a micro USB to micro USB cable and then we have some booklets you see it's a graphing calculator in multiple languages there i just put those to the side and then finally getting very close to what we actually want some other paraphernalia you can have a look at there and here, I have to just be very careful, I don't want to do any terrific damage to the calculator itself. I think it's going to prove a little difficult to, uh, to get out of its case. And more secure than Fort Knox. Here it is. It's the calculator itself. So I might just move these items out of the way. And uh, it's actually on. Yeah. Welcome. Let's see what happens. On it goes. Yep. Uh, unlock. Good. Okay. Hopefully you can see all that. Yes. Okay. Go enter. English. Well. Enter. Number format. That's fine. That's just in the settings. Okay. So that's initial configuration. I'm happy with that. Okay. So you can do the touch screen. It's now 12. Uh, 9 12. 
I'll just check the time. Is it 9.12? No, it's 9.08, but I'll accept 9.12, that's fine. Um, correct date in there. And that's fine. Light colour theme, so you get to choose some things. And here we are. So, let's have a look. Sine of 30, it'll be in radians. Um, so we just go enter. Um, what, else? what else? Let's have a look at the very nice tactile feel. This is what I was looking for. I've seen, as I said, I've used the emulator, but uh, this is very, very nice. Um, we can, uh, let's go to plot. Oh, we can't do that. Let's, let's go to um, function, enter, and we can just do a simple x squared graph. So we just go uh, y equals, or function of x equals x squared, and go OK. And um, I will just go and uh, do another one, and we'll do um, x to the power of 3. So x to the power of 3, OK, and then we'll plot that. And then you can zoom out, and you can zoom in. You can move it around. It's beautiful. So for me, learning how to do these things is uh, kind of cool, kind of neat. Need to know how to do this. Um, also, very nice. Uh, we go back to uh, functions. So we just clear this. So nine divided by six. Enter. It's one point five. But if I go here. 9 divided by 5, this is in CASMO, 9 divided by, sorry, 9 divided by 6, enter, and it's 3 on 2, so it does precise mode, rather than decimal, decimal mode. Um, there's some other nice features in CAS, um, for example, if I, uh, if I want to do something like a very simple, let's just do a very simple uh, formula. Um, if I do um, like so, x squared plus um, four x times y. You must do the times. You can't do implicit multiplication. It doesn't like it. I've done this before in the emulator. Plus, uh, let's just do y squared enter simplify oh that is simplify <laughs> that's hilarious uh, I did this uh, a little bit uh, a little bit wrong so what I uh, meant to do I believe is this I think it's this, is um, x plus, is it x plus, yeah, x plus, oh, I'll just do this, is x plus y squared. Squared, enter, simplify, and then you can see it does, it does that for you. It's kind of neat. So, yeah, it's a nice, nice calculator. It does uh, quite a few things. So yeah, um, I uh, I can give it a more uh, a more concrete textbook example. So I describe um, my textbook. Give something a little bit uh, a little bit better than that. So. Yeah, so let's let's just try this one. Okay, so um, in fact, what I can do, by the way, is I can uh, just uh, press this and go enter. That's great. So I can do <coughs> um,
It's a bit tricky when you've got uh, multiple quotients, but we'll just do it anyway. I've had some difficulty uh, with this before. Uh, minus y. Y. Oh. Minus y to the power of 4. Um, divided by x squared. x squared, yeah, minus 2 times, now this is where the implicit multiplication comes in, you want to avoid that, plus y squared, okay, and then we're going to divide that, um, divided by, and this is, uh, I, I, I prefer to put brackets here, it's probably yeah, not needed, but I prefer to put brackets uh, here, um, and we'll just put another another one of these in. Enter, and then um, x squared plus oh plus y squared, and divide that by x minus y. Okay, so just go enter, and then we'll just simplify, and it equals x plus y, okay? Now the problem that I'm looking at here, I'll just move the calculator to the side, it in fact looks like, just move this under here like so, it's this problem here, you might be able to zoom in, maybe I can do, help you there, so this one here, and if I go to um, 11, so this is in section 1D, it's a very good book, it has uh, all of the, or most of the answers in the back of the book. So that was 11, oh sorry, uh, that was 1D, question 11, and uh, indeed the answer is as the calculator says, which is... Uh, I don't know if I can really get that to, to you. Let me just see. Here. X plus Y. That's it. I just wanted to show you this very fine calculator that I had bought at a very nice discount. One thing that's very nice about this calculator is it, uh, it comes with a hard shell. And uh, I've used the emulator for some time, so I think I'm a little bit qualified to say that uh, it's a decent calculator. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you like this video. It's a little bit different in format, I know, from my usual ones. Um, but if you'd like to leave, leave, if you'd like to get more of this content, uh, please like and uh, and subscribe. And I hope to see you uh, next time. Bye now.